All right, you guys, what's up in this video? I'm gonna show you guys how to take your six figure income or whatever job you're working right now and just blow it up into multiple six figures every single year without having to sacrifice your job, without having to quit, start a new business, or just fool around with all this BS that's on the internet right now. If you're new to this channel, we haven't met yet. My name is Will Nickman. Uh, basically, I'm a six figure earner. I started as a sales job about five years ago, changed my whole life around, and it really wasn't enough for me, man. When I got to the multiple six figure mark, I realized pretty quickly how little money that actually was and that I needed to really just blow my, my income up. Um, pretty much, I dedicated this channel just to telling the truth. I, I'm sick and tired of gurus out there BSing you guys. I'm sick and tired of all of you guys messaging me day in, day out. Yo, Will, how do I do this thing? What about this? What about that? And it's time that I just lay out the truth to you. You guys can handle the truth. A lot of you guys are making some good money right now. A lot of you guys have already got your income up, which is good. You need to. Uh, but if you're like me, man, you're stuck in that nine to five grind and you, you know, you know, working 50, 60 hours a week, dude, you barely get to see your wife, you barely get to take your girlfriend out on those dates. Your kids, they're like, daddy, how come Mr. Baller down the street has the nice cars and the nice house? What the fuck? Why don't we have it? Well, in this video, I'm going to fix all that shit for you right now. Okay. And you're not going to have to quit. It's very low risk. So stay, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to reveal to you the exact strategy that I use and how much I make every single year doing it. But first, so that you know that I'm real, this is exactly what I made last year. I'm just going to open the account and show your ass. This is what I made last year on a W-2 and it was not enough money. This is what I made literally last month. It was kind of a shitty month for me. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a, I, I do make multiple six figures a year. And so I wanted to show you that so that you guys know that I'm real. Now, what's, what I'm going to tell you guys in this video right now is really what I needed to hear five years ago when I was first getting started in corporate America. Um, this would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of energy, and probably would have given me more purpose in life and I would have understood the reason why I'm working. So let's get into it. If you're making six figures a year, that W-2 that I just showed you, believe it or not, is actually, it's an asset. It's an asset for you. Uh, why? Because you can actually get loans against that W-2. So a bank, they love to see a W-2 income like that because they know that your income is secure. So they're pretty much willing to give you almost any loan that you want as long as you have above like a 680 credit score. Okay, so there's that right there. Now, if you're not in a position right now to do exactly what I'm telling you, stay to the end of the video because I want you to learn because you're probably more ready than you actually think. So the year, let me just take you guys back a little bit. Okay, so back in 2021, I was, I had saved up about 70 grand and I was really, really wanting to break out of my nine to five. My boss was being a fucking dick to me. The workload was just getting ridiculous, man. And you know how corporate America is. There's all these rules and BS out there that like, you know, haters at your job that want to get you guys you know knocked off they want your position it's a whole bunch of bs corporate emails and all that you, you know you know the drill so i was i was getting really sick and tired of it and i needed more money again i only had about seventy thousand dollars saved up which to some of you might sound like a lot but it's really nothing I hate to burst your bubble okay and i tried i tried social media marketing i tried to do uh like I looked into the day trading, I looked into wholesaling real estate, but the whole time I always had this kind of like uh, love affair with real estate. I always knew that like, dude, millionaires really are made in real estate, okay? It's a fact. And just a little background on me, I'm a finance manager for a dealership. So I get to see people's income every single day and I can tell you the richest ones that I saw were the guys that had the most real estate. Okay, so I always just had this kind of love affair with it, but I didn't know what to do. I was stuck like you in a nine to five. So I figured out a way to flip houses. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, that doesn't take a lot of time. No, it doesn't. It takes about an hour a day. So anyone that's lying to you and saying that you have to do this 
flipping houses thing full time is, is honestly full of shit. And you shouldn't even do flipping houses full time because it's not a sustainable way to make monthly income. But you don't have that problem. You have monthly income already taken care of. It's a great way to make huge amounts of money, huge amounts of income at once, like in one shot in a very short amount of time. And so I want to just tell you the first story of my very first flip. So I was working 60 hours a week at the dealership. Hustling, man. Just grinding away. Now, during this time, I had about 70 grand saved up. And I hired a mentor to kind of show me how to flip houses and how to do it, which is very important. If you don't have a mentor to show you this stuff to you, um, you definitely need someone to kind of tell you a little bit more. It's pretty easy. You can figure it out on your own. But I, I, I'm not, I'm not the guy that likes to just figure stuff out on my own. I, to me, people that just go ahead and blindly try to figure something out, they're fools. Like even at work, right? You had a mentor to show you how to get to the next level. A manager, somebody showed you, trained you um, to get to the next level. So I did hire one. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Now, the strategy that I used, which is not necessarily what he taught me, but I decided that hey, listen, there's a kind of a loophole when it comes to deals that are listed on the market, okay? So a lot of you guys probably sit up, you're scrolling in the bathroom on Redfin or Zillow, and you're looking at your dream house. Well, there's actually opportunities on those websites. There's literally money on Zillow, on Redfin, right in front of you all day long, and you probably just glance over and you're like, yeah, that house is dirty and disgusting, I'm like, I don't, I don't want it. Okay, that's the money right there. So what I did was I found one of those houses, I ended up, uh, going directly through the realtor that was listing the property. I purchased the house for way under market value because of how messed up it was. And then I hired someone to do the work. We fixed the house up and then listed it for sale. And the house ended up getting multiple offers and we ended up selling it for actually more than what I thought. I got a little lucky. I, I, we sold it for about 25,000 over what I had expected. But that whole transaction took me about four months. And I gotta be honest, man, it was probably the most life-changing moment for me. When that wire hit my account, I just remember it vividly, man. I was sitting at my desk and my boss had just walked in and given me a fucking attitude and he'd just given me shit for not turning in this stupid little report he wanted. And it was a report that like meant nothing, it was just one of those like, you know, corporate busy things. He's giving me shit about it. And I, and I remember I had just got in the wire and I'm smiling. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. I, I was like, okay, buddy, yeah, yeah, I'll turn in the report, all right? And in the back of my head, I'm like, man, if this dude turned around and fired me right now, I wouldn't even care. When was the last time you could say the same thing? Probably been a minute, right? Or maybe never. So that's the kind of freedom like, I remember that that amount of money sitting in my account, I'm gonna show it right here again. Fuck it, I, I gotta show you, man. It's real, look, it was literally just boop, wired in and I worked an hour a day. So what do you think was like a better use of my time, right? That or working 60 hours a week at the job? Well, the job is still good because it allows me to get those loans, but you need a bigger purpose, right? There's a bigger purpose to why you're working. It's obviously to have financial freedom, you guys. People that say money is not everything, they probably don't have a lot of money because money is gonna solve pretty much all your problems. The only thing it can't solve for you is your spirituality or, your, or maybe even your health. But health, I mean, let's be real, man. The food you buy, all that stuff like that costs a lot of money, so we need money. We want to be take care of our family and all of that, right? But hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you real quick. If you guys wanted to reach out to me, if you want to, you want to talk to me directly, I'm gonna put my Instagram in the description below. Just go ahead, follow me. Send me a DM and I'll always respond to you guys. You guys are my people, man. The reason I make these videos is for you because nobody made these for me, man. Nobody was just honest, told me, hey, all that side hustle stuff's gonna require too much time, man. You're never gonna be able to do it. You need something where you can put a little bit of money in, a little bit of effort in, very low barrier to entry with the effort and get a lot out. That's what I needed and that's what you need right now. See, we can start a side hustle, you can start anything like that, but most of the time, it's not gonna be successful because you don't have full time. You can't put the energy that it takes to grow a real business. And so we need something like this where we can use our little bit of savings that we have from our job, we can put it in, do about an hour of work a day, 
not physical work, I'm talking mental, which is not hard, and get a huge payout out. I mean, who doesn't want that? And so the reason I make these videos is so that you guys can learn how to do basically what I did and know what changed my life. And I want you to, I want to leave you with this. What would an extra $100,000 do for you in 2024? What would it do for you? Would it maybe put those kids in the school that you want to put them in? Could you take your family on a new trip? Maybe just, maybe it's enough for you to quit your job and you're like, hey man, I hate this place anyway, I'm out. Hey, that's cool. What would it do for you? And be honest about it. I want to know. Put it in the comments down below. Like if you guys could pull it off, if it was real, by the way it is, I've helped a bunch of people do this. If you want help with that, send me a DM on Instagram to tell me, say you saw this video and I'd be glad to see if I can help you if you're a good fit. Cool. If not, I'll still give you guys some sauce for free. Comment down below. I want to know exactly what you guys are doing right now and what a hundred grand would even do for you. If it would change your life at all, let me know. Um, anyways, man, I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you want to go further into it, go watch some of my other videos um, and uh, send me a DM on Instagram, guys. And if you got value, hit subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel, man. I'm trying to grow this thing to at least 1,000 subscribers in the next couple of weeks. I think we're at like 800 right now or something like that. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so when I post a new video, you get to see it. And comment and like the video. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next video real soon. Peace out.